day 31. Why don't we just throw this away? This is just painful to look at. Okay, Ted is hungry. Mary Jane is still tired and hungry. Dolores is hungry. Screw y'all, I'm giving it to Dolores. I'm trying to pet the little devil. He found a piece of paper on his collar. Could its previous owner still be around and worried sick? Chances are slim, but maybe we should pay them a visit. Sure, why not? Let's see what happens. Day 30 dose. Before we reached the end of the street, we were stopped by two men wearing dark coats and stylish hats. They rushed towards the cat to pick him up, saying they've been looking for- Aww. Hi, Sharkov. Supposedly, Sharkov belongs to an old lady who's rather fond of it and misses the little guy dearly. We shrugged and went back to- What? We all didn't even get any reward, that's lame. Eugene is thirsty, Ted is thirsty. Sure. No. Play game they said it'll be fun, they said they never mentioned picking one would be so much trouble. Well we only have checkers. What else do you want to play? Play count how much ammunition we have? Uh, we thought playing the silent game would be a good idea. <laughs> Silence was annoying. Ted is hungry, Mary Jane, hungry, Dolores thirsty. So this is what's come down to, sitting idly in the shelter with very little few supplies and a growing sense of impending doom. If only there was something we could do about it, like break into our neighbor's shelter. <laughs> Who cares? Do it. Get a gun. That went well, didn't it? I think no. We only got water. They're out of food as well, huh? A couple of doctors knocked on our door today, <laughs> requesting some supplies that would be helpful in refilling their first aid kits. We didn't doubt they were the real deal for a second. They did have lab coats. Will they actually give us something, please? Cat? Give us another cat. <gasps> they give us another cat! What is that? That's a big jug. Tarikov! We asked them for their doctor's licenses, but all of them claimed they left them in another pair of trousers. Okay. For a surprise, we found Cherkov back in our shelter this morning. We're not exactly sure why or how it came back. Is it our good care it appreciates, our kind hearts, optimism, or just our stockpile of soup cans, which we do not have? Are you lying? Only time will tell. I don't care. I... She's very thirsty, okay. Or else. There you go. A loud crash, a surprise shriek, and a bit of debris falling from our ceiling. Truly a recipe for a good start to the day. As it turns out, Sharikov found a new toy. A bit innocuous wiring that it ripped out of the wall. No one knows what the cable's for, but our lights are still on, so it can't be that important. Should we take the wire away for um, our fluffy friend investigate? Of course. Come on, big boy. Timmy's back. Gosh, his hair. <laughs> we have two soups now. Grabbed the cable and followed it to a rusty old truck parked in our neighbor's driveway. Upon opening the door, we were confronted with two men wearing huge headphones who looked extremely surprised to see us. They were wiretapped our shelter when we were sleeping and they were listening to everything we said. Wow. <laughs> He's back. Theater means actors and when you find actors, you can easily run into mines. And so we approached the theater on our tiptoes, but in the end, we decided we have much more water now as well, Jesus. Timmy, you fucking asshole. <laughs> Ted's hungry. Mary Jane is hungry. Dolores is hungry. Everyone's hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe something to drink as well. Mm, Dolores. 
Still no radio. Who cares? Day 37. Amazing stuff. Meow. Mm. He's a drink. He's still hungry. Virgin's still hungry. Timmy should eat something. He keeps falling asleep in his chair. Dolores is no longer hungry. Everyone except Dolores. There you go. Hey, Dolores. Uh... What does the Boy Scout thing say anyway? Boy, just a handbook. Take the map with you. Don't have anything else to give you, sadly. No gas mask, no axe. Shame. Sleepy, are we? <laughs> right. Ted is still hungry. He's very hungry. Everyone's hungry. I don't care. Agents who are spying on us are now at the door and want to explain oh. themselves. Sure. Let's hear what they have to say for themselves. Day 39. 11 away from 50. You love it. They briefly waved some sort of ID cards in front of our faces and told us they're part of a star grit. I can't speak English. <laughs> Government mission wasn't to spy on us but rather on the cat. Suspected of being a Soviet agent, let us into their uh, secret safe house. If we help them with their mission, they assured us they'd want to contact us again. Hungry, 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 don't care. Ooh, last night, the whole shelter was woken up by Ted screaming bloody murder. He was terrified, shouting something about tentacled radioactive mutants on top of his face. Turned out just to be Mary Jane stepping on his head in the dark. Jeez. Wow, look pussy. You seem fine. I'm not wasting my medical on you. Last man standing, 40 days. So you're fine. You're going up that um, Michael from GTA 5 beard. Tell Mary Jane refused to apologize and move on and instead went straight into a state of paranoia. He seemed to think Mary Jane had it out for him, while Mary Jane claimed it was Ted's face that hit her foot and not the- what? Looks like both of them will sleep with one eye open tonight. Hungry. Okay, everyone's thirsty. Good. That I can spare. Her and Mary Jane have been butting heads lately. Today they got into an argument about movie characters, specifically who would win an ultimate battle. Peter Pan or an army of mutated cockroaches? This is a tricky one for sure, and the debate is heated. Who will come out on top? I don't care about Mary Jane. Go! 